This is the all new Kia EV6, the latest fully electric vehicle from the brand. This is a car that's capable of charging at over 200 kilowatts per hour, giving you about 80% in just 20 minutes. It's big, but not too large. It has a SUV feel to it, but a coupe at the same time. Inside, you realize that you get a lot more space than it looks on the outside. And photos and videos really don't do this car justice. If you do see one, be sure to tag us on Instagram at GWR Kia popping up on your screen right now. The biggest Kia showroom in the whole of Europe. So today we're going to find out just how this car is, how it is on the outside, the inside. We'll take it for a bit of a drive around town here in the city as well and on the motorway and see if this is the best new electric car on the market. start from the outside here at the front. The front here is what Kia calls the digital tiger face. It has stylish muscular lines that run into the front here and across the bonnet. It's not just a flat piece, you can see this line that runs across the whole front. Going into these headlights here as well, which are very nice. The brand new style daytime running lights. It's so catchy. This car really is not only a new design, but quite iconic in its own right as well. These headlights then as well come with the adaptive high beam headlight technology which means other cars are not blinded by your headlights as you drive along the motorway or on dark countryside roads. It detects other cars on the other side of the road and it determines which side of the light would blind them and goes ahead and shuts that off but at the same time it keeps everything else lit up so when you're driving along you don't have to turn off your beams yourself. It all does it for you. It's all quite clever. At the same time, it looks very nice as well. That's just some of the exciting new technology included in this brand new electric car. One thing I really like on this car are these progressive indicators here. As a whole, the Kia EV6 is a very unique, creative and stylish car. Kia have created something that's very iconic here and I'm sure we talked about for many years to come in the future. It's a real head turner no matter where you are. Moving on to the wheels then here quickly. You see they sit further out than any other Kia in the past. This means that it's extremely comfortable and you get more space inside. It also means it goes over bumps a bit better and you can clear speed humps around town a little bit easier. Plus on top of that, it just makes the car look a bit more sportier as a whole as the overhangs aren't too big on the front and the back. Now, when it comes to charging this car, this car does something truly special. Using the 800 watt Kia technology, you can get a 60 mile charge in just four and a half minutes. Now just think about that for a second. That's the same time it might take you to make a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. And if you do want a longer charge, the seats do something quite cool as well. They go into this relaxing position, a zero gravity position, they call it, for you to relax on. And you can get 10 to 80% done in just 18 minutes on a fast charger. Now, with all that comes high performance, which is expected for a car like this. In the GT model, which is set to be released next year, you can get zero to 60 miles an hour in just 3.5 seconds. Now that's talking supercar territory here, let alone a family SUV. Quite a big, spacious, heavy, roomy car. Three and a half seconds to go to 60 mile an hour. It's quite ridiculous. And now, to further enhance this performance, the suspension is perfectly tuned. With every model, no matter which one you choose, you get a soft body motion that's coupled with a really impactful field of the road. This means no matter what spec you choose, you get a lovely, comfortable ride. It really is quite remarkable then how they've made something to be quite 
comfy but yet so responsive if we just look at the wheels here then quickly you get an option of 19 to 21 inches but no matter which option you go for either way you'll have a comfortable journey nonetheless and i mean just look at this car here if we step back for a second there's really nothing like it on the road when it comes to the range you can get an amazing 316 miles from it maximum that is and that's all weather dependent and now what i mean by weather dependent is of course if it's super cold electric cars don't perform as well as they would do if it was a bit warmer but what you can get in this car is a heat pump and what that will do is heat up the battery in order for it to perform at its maximum capacity moving on to the back then i absolutely love this light bar here at the back it's just so iconic a lot of manufacturers have started to do this but kia have absolutely nailed it it just looks so great there and just really adds to the whole design of the car it just looks so futuristic and something completely different to anything else out there on the road with this car of course you get the ability to tow a caravan and you can tow up to a maximum of 1600 kg which is of course the maximum weight for a single axle caravan so with the stylishness you also get a lot of practicality as well if we just walk around the back here then towards the front i love how these lights here are joined together it really just adds so much to the stylishness and uniqueness of this car before we get to the interior you see it really does start from the outside in it looks like you already have so much space in the car and then you do go ahead and get inside and you see just how roomy it really is you have some of the best headroom and legroom here of any class i believe and i love these head restraints here they're so unique of course heated seats and cooled seats as well included in this particular model and i mean just look at it, it just looks absolutely stunning not only are these seats super comfy for longer journeys but as sustainability is at the heart of kia these seats have been made from 111 recycled bottles now you may think that sitting on plastic may be quite uncomfortable but in fact these seats are some of the comfiest seats i've ever sat on here they finished in this lovely design here and they just look absolutely amazing go so well with the whole interior you can see up on the front dash here they haven't just left it plain but added this little design it's sort of small things like that which i think make manufacturers stand out now from each other which is quite spectacular really you also get including the car 3d printed services which have a great feel to them i must say you get standard apple carplay and android auto included as standard of course now with the kia connect app it helps you find available charging stations and a fun fact for you to know is that there are over 15,500 charging stations across the uk and there are in fact only 8,300 petrol stations now if that doesn't tell you that the electric car market is growing fast and growing at a rapid pace here in the uk i'm not sure what the world this car is filled with the latest and greatest technology but let me just run you through a few of the main ones here you're able to regen power and harvest it through braking in this car using the flappy paddles on either side you can enable the car to even drive in an eye pedal mode which basically means that the car will break as soon as you let off the accelerator pedal and use that energy and harvest it to recharge the battery much like a modern day formula one car it really is quite fascinating and such clever technology that they've put in it you get these two lovely 12.3 inch screens here for the digital driver's display and of course the infotainment it's what you want where you want exactly how you want it which is very very handy and finally we have the vehicle to load which basically means you can use this car as a big power bank really you can use it to power items in your house in case you have a power outage such as your tv your fridge your microwave anything you can think of you can plug into this car and use it as a power bank and i mean overall here you can see that the interior is just so great you have these lovely touchscreen buttons down here the lovely kia logo on the steering wheel down here you can even have space to charge your phone a couple cup holders if we go ahead and open this compartment 
you can see that there's plenty of space down there. We'll go ahead and just check out the glove box as well with a little push there. You can see plenty of space down there. And I mean, just look at this car as a whole. It's just so luxurious and a lovely place to be. It feels like you get a lot more for what you pay for, really. Kia have really come out and shown the world what they are capable of. With this whole rebranding with the new Kia logo as well. Why pay for the more premium German brands when you're paying a lot more money? Where you can pay less and you can get something like this. The Kia EV6 then really is something truly spectacular. Let's take it for a quick drive then to see what's it all about on the road. Right then, so here we are in the all new Kia EV6. We're gonna take this car for a short drive then to see what's it all about on the road. You can see I've got a USB cable here, but you can in fact charge this car with the wireless charger, so I am told. I've never done this before, but let's see. Yeah, there you go. If you put it there, you can see it becomes a wireless charger, but I'm just gonna go ahead and hook this up as of course, if you plug your car, uh, sorry, if you plug your phone in to the car via a USB, it does indeed charge quicker so let me just adjust my chair a little bit move it forward the adjustment is quite great you can see the adjustment in the steering wheel here move back and forth up and down it's great I'll leave it just about there so you can hopefully you can see that speedometer there for you as well go ahead and put the headlights on automatic don't need to be wasting that i love the gear select here you just flick it to drive and you see if you heard that the handbrake I'll do it again for you. It comes on automatically. You can see the handbrake is on right now. I'm in park. I go ahead and move this to drive with my foot on the brake. You can see the handbrake there is in fact automatically released, which is a great feature. This car, of course, being fully electric, everything is sort of electric and automated. It's great. We have the 72% battery and a whopping 195 miles. This car again, charging from about zero to 80% using Kia's 800 watt charging technology, which is absolutely amazing, fantastic, I must say. We'll charge in about 20 minutes. Uh, I think that's amazing really, to charge from zero to 80 that quickly is something truly spectacular. And it can charge, it will give you a charge in just four and a half minutes of up to 60 miles, which is insane. Four and a half minutes is, you know, the amount of time it might take you to uh, make a coffee perhaps or a cup of tea, but it's just insane how quickly these new electric vehicles charge these days. One thing I really want to show you here, if I indicate here now to the right, you can see there I get a blind spot camera, which is something so amazing, really. I think all cars should have that. It's so good. Rather than having to do that shoulder check, you can just do that and it's amazing. If I press the uh oh, i wasn't going fast enough but you see there it said recuperation paddles i wasn't going quick enough for it to detect me doing it if i am driving along and i press these paddles it can regen from the braking which basically means it acts like a modern day formula one car as i let off the accelerator pedal the car slows down and recoups the energy back into the battery of course then maximizing your range i'm gonna I'm not sure what that was. I'm gonna go ahead in here, go on the motorway. Perhaps we'll try that first. Which means we need to go all the way around. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch lanes there. Again, you see that camera comes on, which is just so handy and all the blind spot detection software. It's just so amazing how full of technology this car is. You get such cool and little features which sort of add up into your daily life and make it it's much easier to drive this car every day and such a sort of enjoyable process really. I'm gonna go ahead and stick in this lane. You heard that just now, that little, the little ding was just me pressing the right flappy paddle here in order for it to sort of push itself. I wanted more power when I let off the brake pedal there. So that's exactly what we did. We're gonna go ahead and stay in this lane and go up here on the A4. Going to head west first and then head back in 
into central London in the West End sort of Knightsbridge area perhaps and then head back to GW Arkea actually heading past GW Arkea in just a moment if you didn't know we are home to the biggest Kia showroom in Europe this is where this car lives and where it belongs there we go four floors of absolute greatness there the biggest Kia showroom in Europe so come give us a visit if you're in the London area plenty of cars for you to test drive you can go ahead and call one of our sales team and I'm sure they'll manage to book you in a test drive you can book a test drive for this car as well now we are accepting uh, bookings for this car now it is of course in very high demand so the waiting list may be a few days but that being said get yourself booked in get yourself checked in and uh, have a test drive of the all new Kia EV6 because this car is absolutely spectacular go ahead and stay on this road if there's not too much traffic because obviously we don't want a video of just the traffic see I put my indicator on there check my mirror instead of doing the shoulder blind spot check as you do when you talk to drive you can just use that little camera there which is just so handy I just love that feature so much I think it's just the little things like that which make a car stand out these days from the rest you know even going through all these uh, sort of annoying bumps here in the road it's just so nice and quiet it's a nice lovely smooth drive here on this Thursday evening in central London Please do let us know down in the comments below what car you'd like to see us review next. We're sort of combining a review video with a point of view drive video here today. See there if I look into the left mirror he's not technically in my blind spot just in case I didn't see him there is a sort of hazard light on that left mirror there it disappeared again which is quite good really it's quite handy if you look over to your left mirror while you're changing lanes and you see that straight away you know that someone's there you may not have seen them but the car sees it all for you it's it's quite amazing really all this technology Right then, so the road opens up here a little bit then. We're entering the zone of the national speed limit. Straight away you see there it went from 40 to 70. Go ahead, I'll put our foot down a bit and you can just see it picks up speed so well. The car behind me has a bit of distance, so if I just slow down a bit here and put my foot down, there you have it, it's 70 mile an hour that quick, caught up with that BMW there fairly quickly. If I go ahead and disable that regen braking, because obviously we don't need that on the motorway, it's just so smooth. barely pressing the accelerator there you can see the foot is actually off we're still cruising and just uses its own motors to sort of push itself there for you it's such a smooth and amazing drive this car very impressed by the Kia EV6 so far you see we've still got 190 mile an hour sorry 190 mile an hour 
190 miles range with 70% left in the battery there you see a car as it comes to my right there that has a warning light on the right pops up in my mirror and on the digital drivers display as well there it goes again just keeping you aware of your surroundings it's quite remarkable really how much technology these cars are filled with speed here again and you see with the slightest of ease it picks up speed so quickly if I go ahead and go into this lane here as the speed limit drops to 50 now I'll just slow down there you are And you can program it so while you're doing the navigation you can add a stop for your charging as well it's really quite remarkable if I go ahead and click that and you see they just added a sort of uh, assisted steering for me there you see where that green light is the car helps you while you're steering so you don't accidentally veer over into someone else's lane quite great really you can see I'm going to take my hands fully off the wheel just let this truck go it is steering itself making minor adjustments there you see in the wheel it's quite remarkable car sort of driving itself really it's amazing how much technology all these new cars have and you can see there it's showing me exactly what junction to turn off in so i'm going to have to go ahead and change lane here really quickly i'm going to go ahead and do a u-turn from this junction it's actually speeding its stuff up for me. I'm not actually pressing the accelerator there. I can press the brake myself, of course, but it is in fact driving itself there. Quite remarkable, really. And of course, when you decelerate to a lower speed, when it realizes you're approaching a junction, it will stop and disable that. And you can see it notices the white van there in front of me straight away it's amazing how quiet these electric cars are you can see they have that sort of artificial wind to them which I'm actually quite a big fan of it's grown on me quite a bit it makes them sound very futuristic really it's quite it's quite cool. Gonna switch lane here again. This car, considering how big and heavy it is, it just pushes with the slightest of ease. Really quite amazing. 186 miles to charge. You can see I've got the car in eco mode. If I press drive mode here, go into normal, it drops down to 181 miles, and of course in sport. And everything turns red there which I love the mileage drops even more but we're gonna leave it on normal for now while we're here on the motorway
see there again all these little minor adjustments in the steering wheel I don't really touch it here we are in fact going around a bend and the car is turning itself it is quite amazing go ahead and overtake this van really quickly everything just feels so nice and even I mean these stitches here in the steering wheel you would think they might get a bit annoying and sort of rub against your fingers over time but it's just it's so prestige and everything just feels so nice it sort of feels sort of too nice to touch really I don't want to start touching all the different buttons here because I don't want to get them dirty this car just feels that nice and that prestige really see there you can set how far you want it from the car in front of you leave it like that as we are on the motorway and need to keep a safe distance of course and you can see the mileage there is not dropping drastically and some electric cars when you go on the motorway the mileage goes down by quite a bit you end up doing 20 miles range for a 10 mile journey which is not too great of course compared to petrol diesel and of course hybrid cars but with this car you've seen the mileage we've done is what has in fact been deducted from the mileage up on the screen there which is very good it holds its mileage very well and of course you can get a heat pump this particular car which basically means in the colder winter months as we get into November December now electric cars obviously don't perform as well with their battery being too cold however if you use the heat pump to preheat the battery in certain conditions it means that the mileage will last longer and of course the drive you have will be a bit more optimal it is all quite fascinating and great technology that they have here in this car enabling you to have sort of smoothest journey possible I guess see now the speed has dropped to 40 and get to 40 nice and safely make sure no one's behind me And again like I said before if you prefer to see these sort of videos with absolutely no talking then please do let us know down in the comments below but if you prefer a sort of point of view review of any car do let us know what car that may be and what sort of style and format you prefer here on the Norton Way channel while you're at it be sure to like that video and hit that subscribe button with the bell on to of course receive notifications when we upload every friday that is every friday in the evening i have a video for you on a different car every week that is
see that as I drive past all these cars, it's actually feeding me all this information on the heads up digital driver's display in real time. It's actually quite amazing really. how it does all that using all the different cameras and sensors it has all buried in the body panels. It feeds me all this information in real time, which is great. See there actually has sounds of nature they call it you can flick through all the different sort of white noise background noise there for you there you go if I put that up it sounds like oceans the forest there we have Just a fireplace one of my favorites here quite cool really just how a lot of people like to have you know white noise background noise when they're studying or even falling asleep while you're here driving on a long journey if you want something a bit more relaxing after a long stressful day of work instead of listening to music or the radio or a podcast or anything put on one of these nice relaxing background sounds to help you get along with your journey again things like that which are very neat and handy features I must say. I'm gonna go ahead and swap lanes here to let this Land Rover go. He's been behind me for quite a while now. Turn that down a bit, don't need to hear a cafe. rainy day we'll leave you on a rainy day it looks like it is indeed going to turn into a rainy day here in West London You can see here, of course, plenty of space in the centre console, two cup holders, two on either side there. So a lovely sound system. And I love these lights here you get across as well. Can't really tell in the daytime, but it do look really nice in the night as well. And of course, all the touchscreen functions here for you as well. Heated seats, heating steering wheels, more controls here as well. So it was very prestige, it was very expensive this car I must say, a lot more, it feels a lot more than what you pay for, pay for the car, that's for sure. Turn that down, don't need it that much. Again, indicating left, it shows me, <coughs> excuse me, my left blind spot camera there, which also comes on while parking. Maybe I can show and demonstrate that later, which is obviously quite handy because you don't want to be curving these brand new alloys on this car, which are very nice. There you go, see we're down to 
67% battery there, which is not too bad, too bad at all. Go ahead and we can switch back. To, I love when you go into sport, everything turns red there. You can see even these lights here, they turn red, sort of greenish, bluish, and eco. Not quite sure what that gentleman's doing, he just ran a red light. Oh dear. Lucky for him, he caught that on video and will be going on YouTube, but he did in fact run a red light. I think he got confused with these traffic lights up here, but it's a bit unfortunate for him. In this car, dare I say, 30, 40 mile an hour just seems so effortless. You're just cruising along. It feels like you're doing 10 or 20. It's just so quiet and so nice. Really, it's just such a, a smooth, enjoyable experience driving this car. Especially in London, that is, as well. The traffic you get in this city, unfortunately, driving can be quite a strain on you every day after work. In a car like this, no problem, no problem at all. You can get, get in, go to work, have a long day at work, come back, and you'll feel as good as new. It's just so comfortable, it's amazing. See that when it comes to junctions, it sort of tells you which lane to stay in. It told me to stay in the furthest two right lanes, which is very handy because, of course, some navigations in some cars it's not that great. You sort of get confused, especially here in London. But this is, this is very good. Dropping to 30 mile an hour now. Stuff on the brakes there, I was going too quick. Quite sure why it's dirty, but well, it's telling me, so we'll stick to that. Thought this road used to be 40, in fact, but perhaps they changed it to 30. As everyone else goes there, and speeds and overtakes us, but never mind, we're gonna stick to the speed limit. So, of course, the cars heavier so downhill it does speed up so I've got to be careful of that keep my foot slightly there on the brake give it a little tap if we do go ahead and go above 30 and you can see in fact the car is in fact steering itself right now it's not me really doing anything it's correcting itself constantly and staying in the middle of the lane very impressive by the sort of self-driving capabilities of this car. Of course, it's telling me there to keep my hands on the wheel. It's not completely autonomous. Heavily assisted, which is great. It just takes the burden out of driving every day.
and as we slow down here is of course by law for any all the new electric cars to make some sort of sound to notify other road users and drivers and pedestrians of their presence because of course you don't get a screaming engine sound and of course in this car you get that sort of artificial electric whine which I quite like that if you can sort of hear it there silently if I turn this off up to about 10 or 15 miles an hour I believe you need to have a sound on all electric cars and this makes a very gentle nice sound which is quite quite nice and relaxing really it's not too in your ear it's very gentle Can you see there? I mean, just the materials and everything is just so sturdy. This uh, sort of floating center console, even, is just so solid, you know. It doesn't feel like it's going to break or anything flimsy. Even up here, when you touch everything, it's all solid and properly well built. Kia have done a really spectacular job on this brand new car here, the all new Kia EV6. Something which really I didn't really expect from Kia, so it came out of nowhere with the whole uh, rebranding and everything. You know, it was quite amazing to see what they've built here. And again, why pay money for other more expensive brands when you're really just paying for the name if you can get something like this for a whole lot of less money and you're getting the exact same performance, better looks, better tech inside, and what's the point? You might as well get with a Kia EV6 and of course the Kia EV9 being teased to us by Kia uh, not too long ago it's sort of I'm sure a bigger version of this I'll wait and see what they get with that I'll just let this cyclist go here and that would be quite interesting to see what they do with that as well whether or not be based on this particular platform as well I'm sure it will be be a bigger version of this the proper SUV big family SUV fully electric SUV that'll be quite interesting to see what they do with that and how it fares up with this EV6 go ahead and put in GWR Kia back on the navigation because I think this is going to take us too long to drive in to central London in the uh, Knightsbridge area. I love that sort of mechanical keyboard sound that the keyboard makes here when you type it. GWR Kia, I'll search for that. GWR set as destination. Forgive me, I haven't really used his navigation much before. Twenty minutes to do just four and a half miles, but that is, of course, the uh, joys of central London living. I'm going to need to turn left here. You heard that beep there telling me this guy's letting me go. Thank you, sir. It was beeping to let me know that there was, in fact, someone behind me. Which, again, is quite handy. Even though you have all these mirrors and cameras and all that as well, it's good to have a little beep there as well. For extra safety and precaution, because, I mean, why not?
this car of course being quite big and large on the inside but then on the outside it's not too big you can you saw as I squeeze there past a rubbish truck it's not too bad maybe not as small as that but quite a small car when it comes to this particular class of car go ahead and go left from here might as well let all these people go why not let's see Does get a lot of looks this car, that's one thing for sure. No matter where you go, this car does get a lot of looks. And I think we need to be in the right lane now, which is great. Oh dear. I'll go ahead and just wait for the traffic. And then just turn around right. You see there, if it gets too quiet, as it can in these electric cars, just put on these calm ocean waves to calm you down. Very nice, a very nice feature. See, as I turn my indicator off, that will disappear. If my left indicator on, it'll come on as well, they're on the left. Another great feature that is. see it's actually quite funny he's detecting all these cars that are turning in front of me there it's actually quite funny You can see the reflection on that van there, these lovely new headlights, they just look so amazing. Can go ahead and switch on the main ones there, but I think the daytime ones just look so nice. Can actually go ahead and leave you on automatic there. Again, they're just giving you a warning as I was playing with the driving modes there I of course saw the car in front of me go but I'm not quite sure what this one is doing oh dear uh, the car was going but of course the car itself gave me a warning another useful feature they're buried in the system is all these little things add up again making your 
daily driving routine, uh, routine sorry, that little bit more enjoyable and easy, if you will. You can see there as I let off the brake and go on it again, that little bar on the bottom is what that regen braking is. As the traffic moves on, I'll try and show and demonstrate it for you again. That is of course the technology that I was talking about which is used in modern day Formula 1 cars. If I let off here, I quickly press on the brakes, you can see that bar goes up and it shows you just how much you're regening there in power, which is quite quite an interesting feature really. Of course then you can use these paddles to turn it up and down. Put it on max there and that basically means eye paddle mode is activated. So now technically if I let my foot off the brake and I just pre-use the accelerator, if I get used to how I can feather the accelerator, if I let off it should bring me to a complete stop because the amount of power that that regen braking is using is greater than that of which I'm using with the accelerator. It's that powerful that it's actually braking the car for me. It'll be quite interesting to see. So, maneuver and squeeze past this truck. Well, you see, I let off. I'm not pressing the brake at all. I just use this and let it come to a stop, just like that, and I'm stopped. Which is quite amazing, really. If you get used to using that. I think around town it'll sort of become the norm rather than going back and forth back and forth again it just makes driving that a little bit easier rather than using the brake pedal as well just use the accelerator pedal and let the car do it for you all while you regen power back into the battery as well which of course extends your mileage and you get more miles out of your electric vehicle Quite careful there because as soon as you turn it off you just end up shooting p1 past 30 mile an hour it's quite dangerous though, obviously of course don't want to be speeding now So they gave me another warning to keep my hands on the steering wheel. So I just wanted to show and demonstrate for you there. Now it's guiding me along, which is very remarkable.
Here we are then, just of course approaching the biggest Kia showroom in the whole of Europe. GWR Kia there with its new branding on top. Go ahead and park the EV6 up and uh, so I'll go through some of the menus, show you what the space is like in the back and the boot as well and wrap up the video there then and we hope you had a a good insight into what it's like driving one of these cars and what they're about in my opinion one of the if not the best car in this particular market and now then there seems to be a EV6 already in the parking spot, not to worry, I'll spin this car around and put it there. So again with all these different driving assists really and all these different uh, cameras and sensors to help you while you're driving it just makes everything so much easier and of course safer as well not to worry i'm not going to park in the disabled bay i'm just reversing to park in that bay over there that is an ev6 finished in a lovely red we have there that is very nice indeed. There we have it then. Put that into the park and just turn all the heated seats off and that because that is getting quite toasty fairly quickly. So then of course Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is included as standard in the car but it's the little things that make this car stand out. Let's we'll start here then you can see of course you can control stuff from down here on these touchscreen buttons but also you can control stuff from the physical uh, touchscreen as well. And the customization is insane. You can see auto dehumidifier, so the car is already ready for you when you're ready in the morning. Auto defog, you can sync stuff or have it different to the left and right depending on how your passengers want it. Um, of course, you have navigation built into the car itself, but you can, of course, go ahead and hook your phone up and be on your way with that. Like I said, valet mode there as well. You can project your phone there. If we Go ahead and go into the settings. Uh, you can see, again, the customization is insane. If we switch themes here, you can go to black, to white. Uh, you can even add a split screen now, uh, or a, a screensaver, sorry. Why you would need it, I'm not too sure, but there you go, it's in the car. The car also has voice recognition, so if you're on the go and you wanted to change radio station or call someone, perhaps you can go ahead and press that and sort of be on your way. Then of course, if we go into the general settings here, you have all your uh, general modes and whatnot. But one thing I want to show you, if you go into vehicle here, go into eco, you can see there, you can change from here, the how strong the deceleration is when you're using uh, these paddles to recoup energy back into the battery. Like I said before, while we were driving the car on the motorway, you don't need to have it so strong, of course, as you're not going to be letting off the brake that much. So you can go ahead and change all the settings in here. And I mean, I could spend hours going through all these menus, but we're obviously not going to do that. You can go ahead and swipe left to right as well, depending on how you want it. Of course, there, this just being the main home screen, showing you how much battery you have, the time, what's playing there on the bottom left, depending on what you have connected and your battery and range as well. And of course, if you go up into the middle here, 
the digital driver's display of course you can change the type of uh, cruise control obviously we can't do cruise control yet conditions not met as of course we are not driving we are parked up here in front of a lovely red ev6 as well here at gwr kia again the largest kia showroom in europe so do come pay us a visit but i mean this car as a whole is just marvelous if i go ahead quickly step out here you can see I mean, just look at that it just looks amazing This car really is like nothing else on the market. It just stands out and it's so different. Overall, I think this car is truly something special and Kia are really onto something here. Again, you see with the new branding there, the new logo on the front of the car, Kia have made something truly iconic. It really is a statement piece. So, there we have it ladies and gentlemen if you enjoyed this video of the all new kia ev6 please do let us know what you would like to see in the future whether it be from kia or any of our other brands that we have here under the northern way group if you would like to see more review videos more driving videos cinematics or anything of that matter please do let us know down in the comments below don't forget to like and share this video and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more weekly content. And thank you for watching.